This is freaking deep, bro. Hold on. What the? <laughs> Yo, what the frick? This took a whole freaking different direction. The Amazing Digital Circus Episode 2 has just come out. It's probably crazy. I'm very excited to see what this is cooking. What are you cooking? What the heck is up with this calibration, bro? Remember to support the original video. These animators put a lot of love into this freaking project, so please support them, like the video and all that stuff, buy their merch. They really do deserve it. Top tier stuff, seriously. It's Digital Circus, bro. I don't know, the first episode was incredible, so let's see what they're cooking right now. Welcome to the Amazing Digital Circus! Thank you. Whoa. Pomni's like glitching. Okay. This is just popping off right like just like that. Just from the get-go, popping off. Well, I guess we're not all cut out for it. The quality is so good, seriously. The soundtrack. Okay, so it was a dream, alright? It has to be little things in the background, right? Are you still sleeping? I'll let you get back to it if you are. I know yesterday was a bit of a doozy. A bit of a doozy. Don't worry about the whole abandoning me for the exit thing. It's perfectly understandable what you were going through at the time. Kane's got a new adventure today. And Today's okay. adventure is Handy Carrier Chaos. That's right. But and the carrier kingdom has been robbed of their most valuable resource, maple syrup. Maple syrup. Okay. The entire kingdom of candy sounds sticky. Very sticky indeed. What? Sounds. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Bubble, you can't say that. I I'm testing out a new AI in this one. It should be 57 times more immersive. Ooh, a new AI. You don't want to mess with the new AI, Zuby. Uh, Hello? Yeah, no. <laughs> Sounds fun. What do you think, Pomni? Our entire existence here is LARPing. Why are you all standing there? The, the Dude, that scared me. Dude. Oh, this is so good, bro. Oh my god. Nah, thanks. I'm trying to quit. And see, just seeing this is making me smile. Like, it's so, it's so cool. It's so cool. What is going to happen in this episode, bro? They've even got little candy bugs here. Yeah! <gasps> it's the princess! Whoa. Great sent to us by God to help us with our recent catastrophe. I like you already. Look, Pomni, we're already <laughs> friends with the princess. I'm not a child. <laughs> <laughs> I like you already. You a war rig of your own. Her design is really creative. Oh, violence. What time period is this supposed to be again? Here's the key back into the kingdom for when you've secured the goods. Call me Lou. <laughs> Will do, Lou. I call shotgun. Lou? Lou. Lou. Uh, Lou. Oh, God. Okay, the little, little, little dude. Through if we get all this back to the village. I'm sure she will. This much syrup would save hundreds of people. We won't know for sure until we get back to the village. She's a fighter, though. <laughs> she told me Why is this voice like that? Don't get too comfy, lads. Looks like they've sent someone after us. <laughs> I like him. Over. Crawl inside and shoot him repeatedly until they're unrecognized. Like this. Hey. 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 Hello. Hold that pose. I gotta get something. Jax, you. <laughs> and a bazooka back. Why is Jax? So I'm having such trouble finding it. Tommy, take this. All right, Tommy. You just stay like that, Ooh. and I'll cross over. The aim and brave. Now I have no bridge. Whoa! <laughs> I get it. Turn it to freaking uh, Breath of the Wild. Cooking. Oh, these fellas just don't know when to quit, do they? I love that one. Hey, Gangle. into him. Bro, Jax is wild. He's he's easily the most interesting character. These guys are whack jobs. <laughs> These guys are whack jobs. <laughs> That's the best character. Hello? Whoa. Oh my god. This is the new Pokemon game. 
What the frick? This man entered a whole freaking dimension, bro. Oh, what the heck is happening right now? What the frick? Okay, I'm trying I'm trying to I'm trying to understand the symbolism behind everything that's happening. How did he even get there? <laughs> Of course, Pommy's gonna friggin' end up in that place. Huh? Where are we? What's all this? <laughs> what a go. Under the map, I think. Map? Or any of your crew up here? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, NPCs? NPCs? What are you on about? This what is some I? freaking inception type. What the fr <laughs> What am I? Have a mom? Shouldn't she be here with everyone else? Can't even remember a fact. Hello? Real? Okay, well, wait, don't, don't think about that. There must be a way to launch ourselves back up. I want you to tell me exactly what I am. An AI. So Pommy's the only person that just ended up there. Is everybody okay? No. Poor Pommy. I hope she's all right. Poor Pommy? How about poor us? <laughs> oh, what's that? Do my eyes deceive me? A delicious gift from Is this thing like the one, the other? The the snail. Was it a snail? You know what I'm talking about. Pommy always seems to miss the big loopy monsters. Is that a coincidence? I used to live with him. Answer me that. Hello. You make a great point. I know that Whoa. Why is Jack so chill about it? He's like, none of this is real. As I was saying, shut up, licorice hair. Here, get with this. I saw the Reaper wink at me. Uh, y you want to try helping out at all? <laughs> what would you do if you were in that position, Pommy? Hey. Aw, not my goat. Okay. No. You want to talk about it? What is there to talk about? I don't just. Hold on. I don't matter in the slightest. I'm nothing. My life, my memories. My friends, it's all fake. This goosebumps may seem weird, but I think I know the feeling. Well, maybe not the exact feeling, but feeling like you're nothing is kind of normal. You even feel like that in the world I came from. So good. Care about your buddies. What does it matter? What do we have when you people leave? We're just obstacles created to be defeated and forgotten. Yikes. This is this is freaking deep, bro. Hold on. What the heck? Whoa. 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 Deep. <laughs> I like it a lot. Like what when he started saying, like, oh, I'm not okay. I was already okay. I, I see the direction this is going. <laughs> oh my god. So good. The place I'm from, I'm originally from somewhere else. If it has to be my home. Maybe it can be yours too. Maybe you could be somebody real there. That is wild. How does this benefit you at all? Guess I just don't want you to feel like you're nothing. I don't want anybody to feel like that. But I'm not even a real person. Would I even belong? I'm sure you wouldn't belong any less. This is wild, bro. What? Deep, <laughs> bro. This is very, very coming of age. <laughs> Yo, what the frick? This took a whole freaking different direction. I could use a friend. A friend. Yes, be a part of the main cast. Please, that's my favorite character now. I don't want to drag him down with me. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Gummy crocodile. What's your name, by the way? Gummy guy. Oh, 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 bro, I had to almost freaking predict the name. That would have been so funny. Wow. Gummy Goo? Bro, if he has merch. <laughs> this doesn't work. We can try something else. You're the expert here. I love this, bro. <laughs> I'm really not. This, 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 this whole series, even though it's only two episodes in, is even in such a short amount of time, it manages to like deliver a message so freaking well. All of that happened in a matter of minutes.
first half was all of like you know bubbly like the first episode episode literally did a pokemon glitch and, and they just went into the freaking wall and then they ended up here and then they have this whole freaking <laughs> moment wow 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 so good seriously okay this is a lot more anticlimactic than i was hoping it'd be you know like one big final really battle cool, bloodshed death chaos whatever. he disappeared and Jax, chill out bro. do you guys have a second truck that flies yeah All right, go. <laughs> again in, good. i freaking do bro uh, What's Go to keep it, eh? <laughs> Mommy, are you okay? Oh, um, well, what happened? He's actually what my new favorite character. You don't want to know. Good to see you, lads. This one's full of syrup, too. I'm so unbelievably disappointed right now. Well, maybe there will be Whoa. blood, death, and violence Dax? in the next adventure. Hello? <laughs> he's giving off freaking antagonist vibes right now. Uh, uh, like, are you kidding me? Allowed? I feel like it was the least I could offer him. Uh, let's take this dumb truck to the dumb kingdom, I guess. Whoa. Thanks to you brave knights, our kingdom will once again thrive. Oh, hey, maybe I didn't leave the gate unlocked for nothing after all. Sometime bye! Hello? Welcome back, my little Bro, Dax. <laughs> Dax. Why is he like this? Why is he like that? Look at his, look at his freaking face right now. Why? What is the point, Jax? Like, why are you doing this? So this is the circus, huh? I'm so glad he's part of the freaking team. Please make a shot out of him right now, bro. Oh, looks like one of these guys made it through. Wait, what? No! Are you kidding me? No! I know you guys love your NPCs, but if I start losing track of who's a human and who's an NPC, who knows what could happen? Whoa. <laughs> well. I'm gonna go drink water. No. Sorry about that, Pomni. At least you try. That's in such a, a shame. Please. Okay, sometimes likes to reuse NPCs. We like to have a little funeral service to remember the people who abstract. This what? Just got pushed around a bit with Bro, what's up with everything. Jags? Like, why is it's he like that? Can... What an interesting character. Okay, look how they're all mourning his death, but they're probably gonna forget about the the gummy dude. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that Pomni in real life? What the frick was that? No, it's over. Wow, that was so freaking fast. <laughs> no. No. Ah. Oh. Goats. Really good. Oh my god. They made a plush shield. I have to get that, bro. I'm actually, I have to get that. Hold on, hold on. Interesting how they were mourning, like, this character. And they didn't, they didn't mourn my freaking gummy goo. What the frick? What does this mean? Like, you know, what, what does this mean? If you freaking, if you have an idea or theories of what, what exactly this might be, then please write them down. Because I'm very curious. I love this, this series a lot. The first episode, I love that. I love, love, love that first episode. This episode, again, really good. Freaking Jack, so, so 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 interesting why is he such an interesting character he's like he wants to like stir up chaos for some reason he's like oh like blah 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 wholesome whatever and he like he gets disappointed <laughs> oh what's wrong jack obviously my favorite part of this entire thing was all the inception bro, bro, bro. literally pokemon be like nowadays like actually <laughs> the freaking engine or something the game engine existential crisis happens Oh, okay. I, I, before I was like, what the heck is happening here? I didn't realize that it was literally him. It's just the lighting made it seem like a different thing. Okay, okay. Now that makes more sense. Of course, freaking Pomni's gonna go there too. Bro, I gotta get that plushie. So interesting. Like how they're, they're tackling this and like, oh my God, who, who the frick am I? And then the whole sense is like, I gotta keep track between who's human and who's AI. Damn, that kind of hits. That kind of hits. It's so good, bro. Whoever, like the creators of this series, like, seriously 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 huge props to them because wow wow they managed to like like 
insert so many d unique themes that like usually take a little bit of time to get development right but here it's just like they do it in such a quick way but in like so effective in a way that doesn't seem or feel rushed in a way that just hits you hard enough for instance the direction with this scene where he was like looking at himself as it the music and all that stuff like his expression again he has more color than his model does you see his model is like more like clayed out if that makes sense he's like clayish like he has more i don't know if what i'm saying is making sense but i feel like it's definitely a, a creative direction decision that they made him look more alive i guess and the model more like dead it's just it's the small things you know this whole interaction with Pomni when asking him like are you okay and stuff that has to have some sort of meaning or symbolism this these creatures because in the first episode, it was that snail thing, and now it's this thing. What are these things in this world, and what do they symbolize? Because it, the first episode was like implying that, you know, it's a VR thing, they're all in this VR world. I said in that, in my first video, that they were like, escaping reality. They lost their memories and stuff. I'm not too sure what they could be. It's just interesting. It's so interesting. This whole part. How often do people actually ask, are you okay to someone, and they just straight up say no? Like... I kind of want to really emphasize this because I really feel like more people need to say no when they're not feeling okay. The normal response a lot of people can give is like, I'm okay, right? A lot of people would think, me included back then, but saying that you're not okay is important. I'm still working on that, but like saying no is difficult, at least the first time. When someone freaking asks you, are you okay? Then you just say like, yeah, I'm okay. You can say I'm okay. And like, usually a lot of people will not really try to go deeper on that, but that's the thing. People will try asking the second time, the third time, and that's when they really show their true colors. So, like, I really want to, like, just random thing, but it's I think it's important for, like, mental health and stuff for people to, like, really encourage that they're not okay. The people who will be there for you will be there for you, you know? I'm, so, I'm talking a lot. I just love things like these. Like, I love, love, love them. When he said no, I felt chills. I really felt chills and, like, goosebumps. This is, like hold on it's getting to that point <laughs> you know actually another big thing that i forgot to mention does pomni have her memories back tiny freaking detail pomni said people in my not in the circus in the other world would be thinking the same thing so does that mean that she has memories from that world and the whole thing be with like her accepting the home the circus being her new home i think i know the feeling well maybe not the exact feeling but Feeling like you're nothing is kind of normal. Something I like, bro, it's a tight, the little things that make these things so good. The whole topic of mental health. I feel like it's a very important theme in Digital Circus, which is one of the many reasons why I love this series. But I feel like, you know, the way that Pomni talked to him, like, I know the feeling. Maybe not the exact feeling. You know, that is very important. Everyone has their own perspective and their own whole point of view. We're just obstacles created to be defeated and forgotten props to the freaking voice actor by the way like i know i'm memeing like his personality from the get go just got me for some reason it's like he barely had any freaking lines and he he just how does someone captivate me that quickly jack hawkins i like him a lot and at the beginning of the episode she was like in her room and all that stuff she had a bad dream she dreamt about getting abstracted the characters were talking about oh i don't i'm not i'm starting to forget her i'm starting to like not remember her is it foreshadowing maybe but who knows? Suppose I could give it a try. <laughs> no, why is he? Why did he disappear? He better come back for episode three. Maybe, maybe with enough plushy cells, they'll be like, you know what? Let's bring him back. <laughs> I'm sure I'm missing a lot. Please, if you have any theories or like interpretations of this episode, then please let me know. Instant, I saw that freaking thumbnail. I'm like, they cooked. I don't even need to freaking watch it. They cooked. What a amazing, amazing, amazing episode. Let's look at the store together. Collection, new arrivals. They have plushies for everyone. What? They have a gummy goo keychain. What? <laughs> look at him. I love things like these. I love things that make you like think. I had a blast watching this. Love the amazing digital circus. I really think it's a 10 out of 10 series. All of the people who worked on this, really, really 10 out of 10 goats. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about the episode and go support them. Go buy their merch. Buy the keychain and the plushie of my boy Gummy Goo. Bring it back somehow. If they go to the next road, he just pops up again. He's like, whoa, I'm here again. <laughs> I don't freaking know.